right now, the moment has come. We are going to see the rehearsal footage for the country that is the number one country in the betting odds to win Eurovision 2024. And what's that country? Switzerland. So this song is a mix of rap, drum and bass, and opera. It seamlessly blends all of those different genres into one impactful song, and it does it with incredible vocals. Now a lot of people before the pre-parties for Eurovision were like, Nemo cannot pull this off, there's no way that they could sing this live. It's not gonna happen. Meanwhile, Nemo went to the pre-parties, hit every single one of those notes perfectly, the high notes, the low notes, the in-between notes, and it was just a masterclass in vocal performance. Now, when this song came out, I went on TikTok immediately and I made a video basically saying that this was the strongest Eurovision song that I've heard in like a decade. I honestly stand by that. Is it the best Eurovision song for me personally that I've heard in a decade? No, but I think as a Eurovision song, this is perfectly crafted. It's one of those songs that I feel if the staging ends up going right, which we'll see in a second, it can very much appeal to the televote and the jury. Vocal talent is on full display. As I mentioned, there's a fusion of many different genres. It's commercial enough, but it's also at the same time, not like fast food music. It's unique and there's just absolutely stunning instrumentation. I will say I'm very nervous to see how the outfits shake up for this rehearsal performance because the outfits for the pre-parties have made me very nervous. I know people are gonna say, this isn't the Eurovision outfit contest and blah, 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 blah. But guess what? Although it's called the Eurovision song contest, it really is the Eurovision performance contest. And you have to have good staging, good outfit, good, everything has to come together. And to be honest, Nemo's outfits in the pre-parties have really just made me think that like, they're taking things off the rack from like a children's store or like an old grandma store. So yeah, I'm really praying that this outfit is impactful, crazy, unique, all of those great things while simultaneously being authentic to Nemo and just quality. So without further ado, I don't want to make this too long. I think we should just get right into it. Okay, the moment we've all been waiting for. Stunning vocals. I'm Nemo, and I'll see the stage for the first time. I'm super I love the excited. earrings. I hope you love it as much as I do. They look like cool as a cucumber, just walking casually on stage. I would be like, oh my God, like you're number one in the audience. If I was number one, I mean, I would just be freaking out. I love the dark lighting. I feel like the camera angles could be really cool with this. Love strobes, love strobes. So impactful. We're gonna have to really talk about this outfit though. Okay, they really didn't show us much. So first let's talk about this outfit. It is the elephant in the room. I would say that it is the big bird in the room. It really looks like bubblegum pink Big Bird. At certain points, it kind of made me think like it's a little clownish. Personally, the dark background, the darkness of the song, just the mood of the song in general, I feel like is not screaming pink. I feel like if anything, I would love that outfit to maybe be like a deep maroon, a dark red, a burgundy, something like that. But I'm like, not hating it? I don't really know how to feel. So let's dissect what the Eurovision accounts are saying about this performance. Sometimes they say things that we don't actually see on, in the footage. Nemo is wearing an outfit made of pink and white fur with matching fur boots. And their main prop is a white circular platform two or three meters in diameter. That's pretty large. It tips and pivots in all different types of directions. Nemo climbs it, slides down it, slides down it, and dances on it. The whole thing is a showcase of balance, precision, timing, and code-breaking ambition. They also go on to say, not something we've ever seen at Eurovision before. Welcome to the show, Nemo fans. Something that's a little bit weird to me is during these rehearsal performances, the Eurovision account will comment on it and basically say like, this was incredible, what a stage show, what a... They're not saying anything of that sort with this performance, which actually makes me a little bit nervous. But I will say we really didn't see too much from that. The more I think about it, for me, the pink outfit is just screaming juvenile and it's just reminding me of like Nicki Minaj wigs. There's not much more to say about this performance. I'm really hoping that the camera angles are gonna make this look really, really interesting and visually arresting but right now there's nothing going on. When it comes to Switzerland's chances of qualifying, that is an exercise in futility. Switzerland is qualifying, they're number one in the odds. But yeah, anyways, this will be a short video. I'll be continuing to react to all of the different dress rehearsal performances today. So be sure to check those out. I've already reacted to Greece and Albania and Malta. 
and I'll react to some more. So yeah, stay tuned, be sure to like this video, turn on this notification bell, subscribe, do what you gotta do, and I'll see you very soon. Goodbye.